Hi everyone, welcome back to Graceful Beauty. My name is Sherry. Today I wanted to share with you a really simple nighttime routine if you're dealing with dark spots, hyperpigmentation, or melasma. And this routine does not include using the ingredient hydroquinone. I do personally enjoy using hydroquinone, but it's just not for everyone. If you wanna know more details about that ingredient, if you wanna know a lot more details about melasma, hyperpigmentation, how it's formed, other ways to treat it. I have a couple other videos. I will link them down below if you would like to watch those first. I think probably most of the questions that many people always ask me are already answered in those videos. But in this video, I just wanna quickly share with you my actual routine that I will be using tonight on my skin for melasma. If you'd like to be subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love to have you here. And if you do like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. The very first thing I like to do every single night is I like to take off my makeup. Or like today, all I have on my skin would be a sunscreen, but I still want to take off that sunscreen with some type of an oil cleanser. This is my all-time favorite, favorite oil cleanser. This is by the brand DHC. This is their deep cleansing oil. This cleanser, takes off all of my makeup, including my eye makeup. There's no tugging or scrubbing, but it rinses clean on my face. So I always do a double cleanse, always, to take off my sunscreen, dirt, grime, makeup first, and then I follow up with an actual face cleanser. You don't have to use this cleanser. Use whatever cleanser works for you. For me, I have normal to oily skin with melasma, the pigment, and I do have acne. This is a, a healing acne pimple. So I'm just gonna use this one by CeraVe. It's their hydrating cream to foam cleanser. But again, use whatever cleanser works best for your skin. Just, I think it's best to use more of a gentle cleanser if you're dealing with any of those skin issues. After I wash my face, I always like to keep my skin wet, but usually it dries, especially if I'm talking on camera. So I always spray my face immediately after I cleanse it with some form of a hydrating mist. And usually I will reach for my Aven Thermal Spring Water. This is amazing to use throughout the day just to kind of freshen your makeup, but it's such a fine, fine mist, and this is perfect to spray on your face right after cleansing. Now, my evening routine that I like to do for hyperpigmentation and melasma is quite simple. I really just layer a couple products and put on a moisturizer, and that's it. I don't like to use a ton of different ingredients because the ingredients and products that I'm gonna use in the evening are so powerful on their own, they really don't need to have a bunch of other products layered with them. In my my morning skincare routine for melasma, I shared that I like to cocktail a few different ingredients that are good to help lighten that excess pigment. But in the evening, I only use a couple separate serums because these products I will share are pretty potent by themselves. After I've double cleansed and I've lightly misted my face with my Aven Thermal Spring Water, I wanna go right in with a serum. And the one that I almost always use in the evening is a niacinamide serum. This is, cannot count how many of these I've purchased but this is the most amazing niacinamide serum that I've ever used. I've tried a few different brands and I always go back to this one. This is by Paula's Choice. This is her 10% niacinamide booster. I tried her 20%, but I still like this one much better. I think studies show that we only need, maybe it's 4%, I can't remember the exact amount, but that uh, the studies were shown with, I think, a 4% niacinamide. So, I mean, do you really need to go all the way to a 20%? Probably not, but you know, I've read some of the reviews on the 20% and some people do really like it. But for me, I prefer her 10% serum. And niacinamide, if you're, especially if you're dealing with large pores, not necessarily because they're full of blackheads and dirt and debris, but niacinamide is great, you know, if you've got years of sun damage and you know, hyperpigmentation, melasma, if you've got stretched out looking pores, this is an amazing product. I feel like when I use this, when I wake up the next morning, it's like my pores are so tight. Now, I don't deal with huge, huge pores anyways, but some days my pores do look larger than I would like them to look. Now, I don't really find niacinamide by itself to lighten my pigment on my skin at all, but I mainly use the niacinamide just for the overall health of my skin and especially for the health of my pores to keep them looking smaller. But I really like to use niacinamide when I use a retinol because the combination of the two of them seem to work really, really well for me. So this is the one that I use almost every single night and it's getting really bright, so I'm trying to move away from this window. But another one that I also like is by the brand Face Theory. I love a lot of this brand's products, but this is their Pore Bright N10 Serum, and this is a 10% niacinamide, but this also has azelaic acid mixed in it. And if you watch many of my other videos, you know I am a huge fan of 
azelaic acid. I also have the Paula's Choice 10% azelaic acid, which I absolutely love. But this one has the niacinamide and azelaic acid mixed in it together. So if you're looking to save a little bit of money, this one is a great niacinamide product to use. And then in my evening routine, about three days a week, I will use this product by Allies of Skin. This is their Mandelic Pigmentation Corrector Night Serum. This has some ingredients in it that I've been reading a bunch of studies that show they work together to help uh, brighten the skin and combat that excess pigment. I wake up in the morning after using this serum and my skin literally looks like I have come from a facial. It is so glowy. My pores are so tight. A lot of their products sell out constantly. But I finally was able to purchase this and I am so glad I did and now I am so excited to try the rest of the brand. But once I get all of the rest of the products, I will do a uh, more thorough review on the products and especially by then I'll know what products I really like from the brand and which ones I don't. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I am a huge fan of retinol and retinoids. Now, I'm not going to use a retinol or a retinoid on the same night that I use this serum from Allies of Skin because it's loaded with, you know, a bunch of acids and things that probably wouldn't layer too well with the retinol. I'd have some irritation. So again, I will use this maybe three, four nights a week. On the nights that I am not using this serum, then I like to use a retinol or a retinoid. These are the three that I have been rotating with. About two nights a week, I will use this holy grail retinol. It's a 5% retinol from the brand Truth Treatment Systems. This is the most amazing retinol product I have ever, ever used. And it just kind of looks like a Vaseline. I will use less than a pea size all over my face, neck, and chest. This little thing lasted me. This is my second one now. Um, I have the large one and I just filled this up with the one that was in the large one. But this little one lasted me maybe six months, seven months, I'm not real sure. But I have a whole nother detailed video on how amazing this product is and why I actually stopped using my prescription strength Retin-A. This one is so much more potent than the results that I got from my Retin-A. Love this product, but I use this about once or twice a week. If you have never tried a retinol or a strong a product like this before, do not start with this 5%. There is a 1% strength that is for beginners or if you've never used something so intense. After you've built up a tolerance in your skin, then you could move to this stronger one, but this one is not for beginners. This is for someone that is well experienced with really strong retinols or retinoids. And then if I'm not using the Truth Treatment Systems 5% retinol gel, I will use one of these that are really affordable from the drugstore. These are both adapalene gels just by different brands. Same strength. I like them both, but this one is a little bit cheaper than this one. This is by Differin and this is by the brand Acne Free. I started using Retin-A, retinoids, about 20 years ago because I had acne. It helps build collagen. It helps smooth out the skin texture. It's great. You know, if you're dealing with wrinkles, you're not going to get results overnight when you use a retinoid. It does take time, but after probably I'd say three or four months, you will see some really great results from using it. Now I will say after using this one time, the very next day I woke up and my skin was so smooth and so glowy. And you don't use all of these together on the same night. These are just some options. So two nights a week on a night that I'm not using mandelic or lactic acid, I will use this or I will use one of these. And then I like to seal everything in with a moisturizer. This is a good affordable one. I also have other moisturizers I like. I know many people will say, wait, why are you showing that moisturizer? I thought L to MD PM was your favorite moisturizer. It is my favorite, but I like to show different options for especially people that are on a budget. And this is a great affordable moisturizer. The Elta MD is a little bit more expensive, but I still love both of them. But yes, Elta MD PM is my favorite face moisturizer, especially for the evening. And that's really it. I keep my nighttime routine for melasma very simple. I just double cleanse, spray my face with the spring water, put some niacinamide serum on, and then I either use the Allies of Skin, the Mandelic Pigment Serum at night, and then a moisturizer, or if I'm not using the Allies of Skin Serum, I will choose my Truth Treatment Retinol Gel, or I will choose one of the Adapalines, and then I will put on the moisturizer. If you would like to see my morning routine for dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and melasma, I will link those other videos down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, but you would like to be, I would love to have you here. Just look down below and tap on that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video.